What's up everyone? Welcome to Z Dog Lounge episode 8. Sorry it's been a while. But yeah, today's Friday. So if y'all have any like news stories or topics you want me to d discuss, basically news stories for the Z Dog Lounge, let me know on social media. Like send them through social media. See? And by the way, do me a favor, follow me on social media, I'll, I'll reply back, and if y'all want to be on an episode, let me know, social media, down here, see? But yeah, today, we're going to talk some sports, basically some NBA today, because I'm just in the mood, so... Big game today. Jazz versus Nets. Donovan Mitchell's back from concussion protocol. Thank God. Thank God. We could need Donovan Mitchell right now. Even though we got lucky against the Nuggets because they didn't have Jokic or Aaron Gordon. But thank God Donovan Mitchell's back from concussion protocol. And I, I, I think I tweeted about this before. I want to see the Jazz win without Quinn Snyder coaching. I know he's still in COVID protocol, but Alex Jensen did a good job against the Nuggets coaching. And if the Jazz get another win today against the Nets with Alex Jensen coaching, then I think Alex Jensen might be a better coach than Quinn Snyder. Don't be coming at me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram saying, oh, Quinn Snyder's doing the best job. Well, excuse me, there's there's the past couple of games where Quinn Snyder has not done a very good job coaching. Like, towards end of the game situations when you need to use a timeout if the game's close. I don't know. Well, I don't know. What y'all think? Is Alex Jensen a better coach than Quinn Snyder? Or... Should Quinn Snyder step it up? Because don't be surprised if Quinn Snyder loses his job. Probably won't be this year. Who knows how we're going to do next year. But, yeah. Another thing to discuss is Joe Ingles done. As you all saw against the Timberwolves, he went down with the season ending ACL injury. Still hurts my heart seeing that. It it makes us jazz fans and maybe everyone on the jazz saying could Joe Ingles play this final game in a jazz uniform. I'm not saying he's gonna retire, but it's a possibility we might trade him. I know other teams are starting to trade right now and could we be shipping Joe Ingles off? Or should we re-sign him for one more year? I think we should get rid of Joe Ingles. I said this before. We can try and trade him. Try and get a player like Jeremy Grant. Or uh, or Harrison Barnes. I would rather have the Harrison Barnes and Jeremy Grant than Joe Ingles. It wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt to shop Joe Ingles. But if you put Royce O'Neal in that trade mix, our Dan Ainge, you're stupid. I'm just saying. Not bashing Dan Ainge. It's his first year as the GM. Right? Is he a GM? I'm not sure. But if you put Royce O'Neal or Bogey in the trade mix for, for uh, Jeremy Grant or... Uh, Harrison Barnes, or even Marcus Smart or Josh Richardson. To be honest, I still think the Jazz could use a backup point guard in Marcus Smart. It, it's, it wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt to have Marcus Smart in the Jazz. He's a good defender. Like, y'all remember when he clamped up James Harden in 2017? 
you, know, you don't know. You never know. Another thing let's discuss. Why is Ben Simmons garbage? And yeah, he's garbage. What the hell is Philly doing? If you don't trade Ben Simmons for a player, I'm going to say it's James Harden. Because there's talks about that trade happening. If Philly doesn't trade Ben Simmons, then we're going to have problems. Like what the hell is the front office in Philly doing? Instead of waiting until next season, get your asses on the phones and get rid of Ben Simmons. Because you wanted to keep getting fined for not playing? Hell, I... Just get Ben Simmons on the Rockets, get John Wall on... The Sixers. Or have Ben Simmons come to the Nets. Possibly for a James Harden deal. Maybe for Paul Millsap. Like, what is Philly going? What is going on in Philly? That's that's why I want to know. No disrespect to Joel Embiid. He's a great center, but... You all got to get rid of Ben Simmons. That's basically why you signed a guy like George Niang. To basically fill up Ben Simmons' role. Like, what's going on, Philly? Ain't looking too cloudy in Philadelphia. Because if the Sixers have a chance to maybe be the top dogs in the playoffs. And maybe win a ring. They need to give Ben Simmons the boot. Alright. What is Philadelphia doing? Would you Sixers fans agree with me? Get rid of Ben Simmons. Like trade him. Either for James Harden. Or Paul Millsap maybe. In Brooklyn. Or... Have him go to the Rockets for John Wall. But here's the thing. Even if Ben Simmons does get traded, is he still going to play the rest of this season? Or should you do a trade in the offseason? Right. It's getting kind of cloudy in Sixer land. But yeah, next, let's talk about the NBA All-Star game. The reserves got picked last night. It's Mitchell Gobert are in it. Draymond Green's not going to be in it. So who, who would you want to replace Draymond Green? In my pr perspective, I'm a Jazz fan. Conley should be in there. Or a bogey. Or how about... Uh, how about... How about Aaron Gordon? <laughs> like, when was the last time you ever seen Aaron Gordon in an All-Star game? Wouldn't well, hurt. And then on the East... Fred Van Fleet, shout out to him. He deserves it. But Garland as an all-star reserve? Why not have Kevin Love? Like, when's the last time i ever seen Kevin Love in an all-star game? And I just saw the dunk contest. I think the dunk contest might be better this year. Might be better than 2018. You got Cole Anthony, you got Jalen Green. I forgot who else is in it, but I think I think dunk contest me might be something to watch. Mm. 
skills competition. I heard the Giannis brothers. Has anyone even saw who's in the three-point contest this year? Whoever wins the three-point contest. Watch. I bet. I bet. I bet it's Curry. I bet Curry's the one. I bet. Here's my predictions for three point contest: Curry, Booker, uh, Buddy Hield, and okay, it's just those three. You know, Curry's definitely gonna be in the three point contest no matter what. He's gonna try and win it. But yeah. A week from this Sunday is the Super Bowl. Can we please get a Rams win in the Super Bowl? Like I know you all like Joey Joe Burrow. Like I know you all like the Bengals, but stop hyping him up so much. Like come on, I'm getting tired of seeing everyone hyping Joe Burrow. Like, come on, get off his you-know-what. Like, please, y'all, stop hyping Joe Burrow. Stop hyping the Bengals. At the end of the day, the Rams are going to own the Bengals. They're going to own the Bengals. It's nice to see Tom Brady retired. I'm kind of pissed that the Chiefs didn't make it. I blame you, Pat Mahomes. Hope you're watching. Costing that game in overtime. I wouldn't mind it being the Chiefs and Bengals in Super Bowl. There's your, there's my prediction next year. Chiefs and Bengals. Joe Burrow versus Pat Mahomes next year. Let's do it. I'm calling it. I'm clapping it up. Pat Mahomes deserves a Super Bowl more than, than Joe Burrow. It'd be nice to see the Packers in the Super Bowl, but that probably won't happen in a couple years. And who knows if Aaron Rodgers is going to stick around or hang it up. But go Rams next Sunday for the Super Bowl. Who? who all right. I know I'm going to try and say this, but I've been trying to get guests to come on. So far, I have not any luck. So if you, oh, please, if you want to come on to Doc Lands, please let me know on social media and we can set it up. That's why I haven't done any new episodes. I'm trying to find guests to come on. I know I need to shape it up. But like I said in the beginning of the show... If y'all have news stories or sports news or any kind of news you want me to do on the podcast, let me know on social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Send me them DMs or send me them tweets on Twitter or send me DMs on Facebook. But let's get the Z-Dog Lounge back and popping. I know it's been a little while since a new episode. But Let's get the Z-Dog Lounge back and let, let's kick some ass this year. I don't need no teleprompters. I don't need no scripts. This podcast is going to kick ass. This podcast might be better than the Manning cast. And, yeah. But, yeah, hopefully, I hope you all are doing your bets for the sports today. If you want... Your parlay for Don Mitchell. I say he goes for either 30 or 35 points. Between those two. But yeah. That's gonna do it for today. Y'all get a good uh, 15 minute podcast for Friday. And... Possibly tomorrow or next week for episode 9. I'll probably do a long podcast on Twitch. So if you're not following me on Twitch, 
twitch.tv slash cdoc2k22. We'll do a lot of podcasts there. Probably do another Ask Me Anything or maybe have someone on. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully let's get this ZDog Labs popping. And like I said before, if you have any news stories you want me to do or discuss, social media is open. And I'll be glad to reply. I'll be glad to jot down the news stories. Like I said, this might be better than the main cast. But uh, yeah. So I hope you all stick around next time. Possibly next week we'll have a long podcast. And hopefully I'll get some guests on. If you have any requests for guests, let me know. Social media. I'm always open on social media. Also, go follow me on social media. And also follow my Twitch. Twitch.tv slash ZDoc2K22. Or if you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. All my podcasts that I do on Twitch will be on YouTube. So hit that subscribe button. Just search up ZDoc on YouTube. You'll find me. Or just search the ZDoc Lounge. If you miss an episode. But yeah, that's going to be it today. It's your boy z Dog signing out, and go Jazz tonight. Let's kick the Nets' ass. Brooklyn, we're coming for you.